Manny's garage of Andy Phillips. Obviously, I'm not in the garage uh, today. What I'm going to be doing today, though, is going over the Lamborghini Countach emblems that are going to be used on the Countach replica that I've been restoring. So let's go ahead and get started. These are the emblems that I purchased. If you're familiar at all with the Lamborghini emblems, they can be very pricey. Just for what you see right here, just the basic body emblems, you could be upwards of $1,000 when you order them directly through Lamborghini. I was fortunate enough to win these through an auction that I bid on through eBay, and I got them very, very, very cheap compared to what they're worth. Now, they predominantly came off of a 5000S Countach. As you can see here, it has the 5000. My replica is of LP400S, so I'm not going to be using that. So we'll take that out. But what I am going to be using is what is seen right here. Now, this is the hood emblem. This particular one came off of a 25th anniversary edition Lamborghini Countach. As you can tell, it's a little bit different. The ones that were used on the earlier um, Countach models prior to the 25th anniversary had the full chrome bezel going around it with the Lamborghini bull in the middle being slightly different, and here's an image of that right now. So, but this is it here, and then you have the pins that go through the back um, that need to uh, have the nuts that um, secure that on. So that'll be going on to the hood emblem. Then you have the Countach. Uh, this is the script piece here that goes on the back. Um, this is fairly in good shape coming off of a 5000S. That's a very old vehicle for now. So this definitely has some age to it. It's got a little bit of a little scratch there and one there on the corner. I was going to repaint them, but considering that these are original with the original finish on them, I'm just going to leave them um, as they are. So the same also goes here with the Lamborghini script as well. Get a close-up of that here. You can see it's got a little bit of a nick there, and I believe that's it for this one. Uh, for the most part, this is in very good condition. And then you can see there all the, the uh, little studs are all in place. Everything's good with that. And then for the actual bull logo right here this was actually a aftermarket one this is not the original one the original one has more detail to it this was an aftermarket one that i actually recoded to match but as you can see there the black on this one is a little bit different that one's more matte so i got to recode it and maybe even powder coat it like those are to uh, to make it match perfect and then that will also go on the back so these are all the emblems that are going to go on the back now i also need to do the s since it's lp 400 s here's an image of that What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to actually have the metal shop where I work actually go ahead and recut one. I'm going to lay one out to scale and recut that, and then that'll take care of all the emblems that are going on the Countach replica that I'm working on. Now that we're getting ready to move on to the body parts um, of the Countach replica that I'm working on, getting ready to start prepping it in the upcoming weeks and just making some final details on there to make it more accurate and then prepping it for paint. Uh, once that's done, then we'll be getting ready to um, go ahead and, and put all of these emblems on there and that'll be the final touch and just really bringing it all together. I'm excited to do that. So I'm going to be probably laying out the templates on their body to be drilling out those holes for the proper placement on that uh, very shortly and then getting ready to then prime it and then uh, paint it and do some uh, probably about two or three coats of automotive clear coat with hardener on there as well to kind of seal that before we move on to the suspension to wrap that up. Um, that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I hope this video was informative. Please send any questions, any comments. As always, I appreciate all of the support out there. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'm always posting new content um, in regards to the restoration project of the Countach project I'm working on, in addition to other uh, car and casino gaming and just entertainment videos that I'm constantly posting. So, as always, I appreciate the support. Please like the video, subscribe to this channel. We'll see you next time.